Aquarius, welcome to your September 2018 tarot scope, shall we say, your monthly tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. I'm so happy you are here. Thanks for joining me. And thank you too to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to the channel. If you haven't already done so, please uh, hit the red subscribe button and the little bell so you'll get notified when I post new videos. I've started posting a weekly astrology, tarot, energy forecast. I'll probably upload the new one for this week tomorrow. I'm filming this on the full moon of Pisces on uh, the 26th of August. So uh, hopefully the full moon energy will illuminate your reading, Aquarius. And uh, if you have Virgo in your chart or have a Virgo friend who has a birthday coming up, you might be interested in my birthday reading for Virgo's year ahead. I start with Virgo's birthday month, which I do start September 2018, and do the reading all the way through to the following August. It's available on my website and I will leave the link in the description. It's an audio file, 68 minutes long, lots of juicy information. And as always, if you have a personal concern and need a private reading, I will leave the link in the description for that as well. Remember, this is a general reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The way I'm going to do your reading this month is I'm going to lay out, lay out five cards with my Rider Waite deck. The card on the top will represent the energy you are coming into September with. The three cards beneath that will represent the general energies you're working with for the month of September. And then the card on the bottom is the energy of resolution of those energies for the month of September and what you'll be going into October with. I will clarify as necessary with additional Rider weight cards if I feel I need to. And I will also pull an Osho Zen and an Oracle card to tie it all together. I will not know if it is a money reading, love reading, personal power reading, friend reading, family reading, etc. until I actually see the cards. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what is going to go on for you, Aquarius. September 2018, Aquarius. What is going to be up for you? Aquarius. Aquarius. September. 2018. Aquarius. Let's two more. Let's see. Aquarius. 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 Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. This is a very interesting, interesting reading. Well, they're always interesting, right? I mean, they are. <laughs> it's always interesting to see what kind of cards you get. I'm feeling that this is a love reading, but kind of um, thwarted love. But new stuff will happen. So don't get, get, don't get, don't like click away and not listen to the rest of the video. You're like, oh, she said no love. Okay, forget it. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to get right into it. But this is a love reading, Aquarius. All right, so the energy going into September for you is the Two of Cups upside down. So there was a missed connection. There looked like there was going to be some sort of date, meeting, connection, fruitful encounter, shall we say. <laughs> Somebody swiped left or right. I don't even know how that works, but whatever. And it just didn't quite gel. It didn't quite work. Hey, we had Mercury retrograde going on for most of the month of August. And that was probably not helping this situation. And then so many planets retrograde over the summer and in August and Mars didn't go direct until August 27th. 
So it's understandable how there could have been some sort of missed connection for you that's going into the month of September. And it really took you by surprise a little bit. I think you were very hopeful about this, Aquarius, that you've been feeling a little like, I don't want to say pathetic, that's mean, and I don't mean it in a judgmental mean way, but, but you know, pity party, sorry, pathetic, we all go through it, my God. Just... Like, why hasn't anybody been swiping right on my profile? And then somebody does, and somehow it didn't happen. Is swiping right the good one? I think so, right? If you swipe right, that's like the good, the good thing. I don't know. All right, but anyway, Aquarius, you were very hopeful that there was gonna be a love connection, and it didn't quite pan out. And as a result, I think because I feel this is done. This is just psychic. This is not even from the cards. I feel that you haven't had anything, in, any anything, anyone interests you in quite a while, and you finally had a spark. There was something, and you got excited, and then the connection fell apart. And I think as a result, it really took the wind out of your sails, so to speak. Not that your expectations were overly high for this person, this situation. I'm not saying that really. What I'm sensing is that it was the idea that you were back in the game again, that you've been out of the game for so long that you finally had this connection and then it went south and it really impacted you and at the center of your reading you have the strength card upside down so i don't think you're going to stay that way for the whole month of september feeling like i said the wind taken out of your sails but i would say for maybe half the month of september and remember with these tarot readings too they're general and time is fluid this could maybe be the first five days of September and then the rest of the month, you're gonna be in this other energy that I'm gonna talk about in a second. But going into September, you are feeling very tender over this offer of a connection that just didn't pan out. And your pride is a, your ego is a little bit tender also, which again, understandable, understandable. Because it's quite possible that whoever this connection was made some promises, talked the talk, like it sounded really good, but they were just full of hot air. And I, I, they could be a player. This is not necessarily player energy. I'm not seeing other cards here that say this person's a player. It's possible though. But they revoked this hopeful feeling that you had to make a fresh start in feeling better about yourself in the love department. Because not that you feel bad about yourself. What I mean is feeling better that you were back in the game again, that that you felt a connection and not just on a friendly level, but on a connecting level. Because as we know, Aquarians are very friendly. They, you know, see every, they love to talk to all sorts of different types of people. They have very eclectic friendships. They're very friendly, outgoing. They're very interested in the world and so Aquarians have a lot of connections usually. And of course we're speaking in general, but they have a lot of connections. They have a network. They love that. That's not what I'm talking about here. This was not just another, oh, let me add this person to my friends list on Facebook network thing. This was really a connection because sometimes Aquarians like Virgos 
can be very cerebral. They can be very much about, and there's nothing wrong with this, but they can be very much about mental connection. And sometimes they get caught up in that and to the exclusion of a heart connection and a body, let's face it, a body connection. And again, this is not everybody, I'm speaking in generalities here, but I feel like this connection was also a little spicy. Like it was exciting. Like, again, it got those juices flowing that hadn't been flowing in a while and got you excited. And then when it was cut off or you were cut off at the knees, so to speak, the offer was revoked. The offer was taken back or you found the offer was indeed not as valuable or as serious as you thought it was going to be. That this person really was not, hold on, I'm sorry. This person was not invested. You know, Ace of Pentacles is a great card when it's upright. When it's upside down, it can be delayed money, but when I see these two cards together, to me this is somebody, some party of, these, of one of these people is not invested in growing the relationship and you thought they were this i have to say could be two it could be a one night stand that occurred and as a result it caught it really hurt your your pride it hurt your ego because you thought that there was a deeper connection there and there just isn't for this other person it's not you it's them they misrepresented themselves and or this is a missed connection that maybe there wasn't any physical stuff that happened. But I think with this card, there probably was something that literally was more promising. That, that either there was some physical connection, a one night stand, um, or just a lot of hearts and flowers, love bombing bullshit that they did. That made, you know, that narcissists in particular do that made you think that something great was gonna start from all this, a, a relationship, a real true relationship and connection, the type you haven't had in a while. And it didn't happen. Or this is the energy that's happening for you in September. I think it's what you're going into September with. And maybe it came to light at the full moon or right after when Mars went direct. And when Mars is, going to be direct oh my god excuse me when mars is going to be direct in aquarius i think it goes in september 11th or the 9th around there you're going to have that powerhouse mars just you know, cruising through your sign and you are going to be motivated again so that's why i'm feeling to get back out there from these other two cards i'll explain that in a second um so I feel like with the strength card in the middle, it, it did kind of take the energy out of your, uh, out of your well-being. It, it took the wind out of your sails. You felt dis a little discouraged. It is possible, too, that this person was playing with multiple people because you have the three of cups here next to the strength card upside down. And you also have the Three of Pentacles card. But I'm going to also interpret these in terms of your future, too. So hold on one moment, okay, Aquarius? But it's possible as well, looking at this layout, that this person was, you were just one of several that they were talking to and swiping left and right on. And it's possible, too, that this person may be connected with your work in some manner, and they are... This happened also in the Leo reading. They are playing around with a lot of different people at work, like flirting a lot, just inappropriate dating and different things. That's possible also. But whatever it is, try not to, whatever this person did, try not to take it too much to heart because you, I think, are the one who's actually gonna be coming out of that energy with something to celebrate. 
So I, I think that once Mars enters Aquarius, like I said, around September 11th, when Mars goes through our own sign, we are unstoppable. We are large and in charge. Nothing can hold us back. There is, of course, when Mars conjuncts our sun, when it transits conjuncts our sun, there can be flare-ups of arguments and different things. Yes, of course, that could happen. But I feel with this energy here, with this Three of Cups energy that you're also going to have in September, I think you're going to be really energized with that Mars to go out there and have fun again. I think even though this situation with this person did not manifest honestly the way you wanted it to, because this person was not honest, they were lying, and they revoked the what you thought was on offer was not on offer at all. They That's not what they were offering, or they backpedaled or lied, etc., as I've already explained. But I think it's good in the sense that you realized that there is a spark inside of you that needs to be built up into a flame. You want to fall in love again. You want to be in a relationship again that is exciting for you. And I think as a result, and you're going to go out there again. I, and that's why I'm saying you're going to have something to celebrate. Maybe you meet somebody else pretty quickly after this. That's very possible. I'm going to clarify this card, actually, in a moment with another card. But I think you are going to have something to celebrate. And at the end of the month, you are going to... It's probably work-related because we have this Three of Pentacles here. That there may be some new associations that get formed at work. New... Um, a new writing project you may be involved in with some other people that you could eventually, maybe not yet, but eventually win an award for, something like that. So you have very good positive energy. You will be connecting with other people this month once that Mars goes into your sign Aquarius. And these both cards are upright, so you will be feeling good. You'll get back out there and connect with people and have very fruitful inspiring, empowering conversations and networking with people for the rest of the month of September. I want to clarify this Three of Cups though. I want to see Aquarius what you'll be celebrating. What is Aquarius going to be celebrating in September? You know, the other possibility is that you find out after you had a narrow escape from this person, from this, whoever this was here, you find out that, like, all sorts of stuff about this person after the fact, and, and you realize you had a narrow escape. Like, thank God it didn't go any further with this person. Thank God that you didn't get heavily involved with them because you hear some stuff that would like curl your hair and oh my gosh like this person really is is not good at all so that's another possibility so you may be like celebrating like oh thank god it didn't work out like, the universe was really protecting me all right let me see what is the universe why is Aquarius celebrating Okay, whatever delay happened, this is upright too, beautiful. Whatever delay happened, whatever missed connection, delay getting together with this person was for your protection. Major Arcana, hangman. This, this card can mean sacrifice, but it can also mean waiting and protected waiting. Like, again, the, the universe runs on its, its own timetable. We think sometimes we can control that timetable. Certain things, no. It's on the universe's timetable. And it was a very protective waiting. Maybe, I just feel like this person was not 
right for you because I think they were misrepresenting themselves and portraying themselves as being interested in something serious and they really were not and they were fooling around with other people like I said already swiping this way and that way and doing all sorts of stuff so there was a protect this is a protective waiting for you the universe did not want you to be a sacrificial lamb to this person's narcissism all right so the universe protected you from becoming a victim to this person's player tendencies you were not the universe protected you from like I said being a, a sacrifice to this person if this person was a narcissist and playing around with a lot of different people all they don't care about you all they care about is getting what you can give them self-esteem sex money a bed for the night food whatever it is right that's all they care about they don't care they don't they had they have no capacity to love so and you want that's what you want so rather than have your energy be sacrificed and siphoned and taken by this by this player by this narcissist the universe protected you with an enforced waiting so there was a misconnection there was a problem or like I said maybe it was a one-night stand but then something happened where you couldn't see them or again there was a misconnection maybe they ghosted you and but then they came back again like narcissists often do but through that ghosting that period of ghosting it was a it was a protective thing and you realized this this is this person is is bullshit so the universe was protecting you with whatever whatever this was and that is why you should be celebrating the universe is going to bring you the right person in the right time it's going to happen all right let's see i'm going to clarify also with an osho zen let's see what else we need to know about this month of september maybe this three of pentacles what is going to be happening so work should be good for you this month aquarius especially in your projects with other people your relationship with your co-workers should be amiable friendly fruitful all right let's see what else does aquarius need to know you could even be joining a new work group a new group let's see I'm gonna, we'll clarify this okay let's see okay all right so you got the compromise card the six of pentacles so i feel like it's in regards to this this work situation you will be creating some sort of vision and bringing it to life but because you're working with other people you have to let go of the creative control a little bit aquarius is a fixed sign they can be just as stubborn as taurus also a fixed sign for as much as aquarius is so open-minded and humanitarian and and loving and lovely they also can be very fixed and have very fixed ideas about things especially their creativity so like my way or the highway type energy I think with this energy here at the end of the month Aquarius it would be good for you to work on allowing some flexibility with your opinions about the way this project this this work project should go and you may have to compromise a bit on your ideas in regards to making that project a success but 
that's fine. That's okay. That's good. That's good energy. That's good energy. All right, let's see for your Oracle card what's going on with this. I think you have a great month. There's just a blip there at the beginning. But this work project, I feel, is going to be very significant for you. Very significant. You may not have had to really work too much in a team before, Aquarius, and now you're giving given that chance, and it's really going to stretch your, your social skills, your flexibility skills, your creativity. I think it, I think if you can compromise, you're going to find and, and see it not as taking away from you, but adding to your creative ideas, being fed by other people's creative ideas, not feeling like yours are being trampled upon. So getting that mindset straight for yourself, that that's what the compromise is about. I think it's going to pay off for you down the road and, and some good creative, other creative opportunities. Whatever had a weight around it was for your benefit. If this was not a love relationship, this just came in for me. If this is not a love relationship and this was some sort of offer for business to join a business, to join a different office, to change a job, don't worry if the offer falls through for that. Again, the rejection is protection. The waiting is protection because another job, you'll have another job by the end of the month if that was the issue for you. But I really feel this is more love reading. But, you know, I think that it, it could even have been a job offer because jobs are relationships too. Our coworkers sometimes end up feeling like family. We know that sometimes we end up in working situations that are as dysfunctional perhaps as some of our family relationships have been so you know it could it could even be that although i'm feeling more of a love thing but the person suddenly changed the terms of the agreement of whatever the job offer was for you or the partnership offer they had other candidates in mind you may have thought that you were the only one or you were on the top of their list. Like they gave that impression, but you really weren't. They were very fickle. It's very fickle energy. It's very unstable energy that, that you're dealing with with that person. But don't worry because it, it protected you. It protected you from something that would have turned out to be not good. All right, let's see. What else does Aquarius need to know? All right. So we have the deceit card. So this this goes hand in hand with what I was saying about this this person. There was definitely deception going on in this offer, whether the offer was for business or love, whatever the offer was, it was not represented accurately. The person was deliberately trying to deceive you for their own benefit. Typical of narcissists. I just keep feeling a narcissist in this reading for you also. So, also because this card came up again, even though it does confirm, affirm what I've been saying, just be on the alert for other possible deceptions that may crop up before the energy shifts in the middle of the month. Because you might be feeling a little under the weather, a little, what's the word I want? A little, uh, let's see, a little not as powerful until Mars goes into Aquarius, a little tired, emotionally drained. Because you may be feeling like that, your radar, your normally really good radar may not be as attuned as it normally is. And maybe some other deceit also tries to occur. So just, just be on the alert for that. I know it might be hard because you could be feeling, like I said, a little under the weather. So 
just do your best. I mean, I know you will. You just do your best. But I do feel like this deceit card is just affirming that this person was certainly not who they were representing themselves to be. And their offer was not. So you had a lovely, lucky escape. Things are, are going to be fine after mid-month. You're going to shift into much more celebratory and creative energy. And yeah, I think it's great. So Aquarius, thank you. I will be back in October with your next uh, tarot scope. So please tune in then. And I wish you all the best for a great September. Okay, take care.